Hello all, and welcome to this afternoon's review, which I am dubbing the car repair review, because I just went and got my car repaired and it cost me an arm and a leg. So, yeah. But you know what else costs an arm and a leg, folks? What we're reviewing today. Cognac. Oopsie. And, yeah. Got me some Remy Martin VSOP. That's... They call it Cognac Fine Champagne, I guess because of the region. And guess what? Finally get to use my birthday present. It's a brandy snifter. After talking about a brandy snifter so many times while doing these Cognac reviews. And I've used this just a little bit. And I have got to say, it definitely makes a world of difference. I've been, I've been going around like retrying a lot of stuff that I tried earlier, and yeah, it definitely just opens up. It opens up, you know, cognac brandies, um, Armagnacs. It just really opens it up, um, you know, a lot more with this particular type of glassware. So let's go and read the label, shall we? Remy Martin. Since 1724, the house of Remy Martin has been driven by one quest to capture the heart of cognac. Cognac fine champagne, with always the same signature style since its creation, this vibrant gold VSOP is smooth, rich, and perfectly balanced revealing ripe stone fruit and vanilla notes. Enjoy it neat, on the ice, or in your cocktail of choice. Now, this is about $50 a bottle. It's about the same price as the Cuvassier. Again, this is one of the big four. I reviewed two of the big four cognac houses. So, yeah, going on to the third. And looking forward to this. So how do you pour into a brandy snifter? Well, I learned. You kind of do. I should move this down a little bit. You count to four while you're pouring. And you know you've done it right. Because a snifter, when you turn it on its side, should not spill any of the alcohol. So... A beautiful golden amber color. Wonderful legs. Very thick legging. And holding it like this to let loose the aromatics. Hints of rose, jasmine flowers, maybe even a little bit of lavender, kind of a cross in between lavender and jasmine. Definitely rose. So, floral top note. And stone fruit, very ripe stone fruit underneath as a base. Peaches, juicy peaches and apricots. Also, oak, vanilla. Mm. 
maybe even a touch of licorice, you know, like root licorice, not anise, but root licorice. All in all, very aromatic. You know, with this style glassware, the, the nosing notes just pop out so much more. Ah, this absolutely lovely to smell. Almost, almost like a fine perfume. So floral, so fruity. Well, without much further ado, let's go and get it on the palate. What gets me is, despite the this intense softness of the nose, there's quite a bit of spice in the mid to finish. Like baking spices or allspice. This is definitely, I would say, slightly hotter than the Cuvassier, but not notice, not really uncomfortably so. Up front is where you get that juiciness, that very much, almost apricot-like juiciness, yeah. And honestly, it's actually that sort of um, fruit kind of lasts into the long finish there on the palate underneath the spice. The spice is almost like um, marzipan rolled in baking spices. So slight nuttiness almost. In the mids, a brief flash of herbaceousness. Probably, yeah, baciousness, sort of licorice root note, very brief flash there. An oakiness that, <clears throat> excuse me, oakiness that shows itself in the mid to finish and kind of expands in the long finish.
it'd be hard to classify this as, you know, either sweet or dry. It kind of goes right in the middle there. Some of the tasting aspects definitely taste very, you know, on the palate. Um, it's definitely sweet on the nose, but on the palate, some of those taste notes are on the drier side, and some of them are on the sweeter side. By the way, this is 80 proof, so 40% ABV. As I go on, I kind of notice that the apricot is almost dry tasting, like dried apricot rather than fresh apricot, even though it's very fresh and juicy smelling on the nose. On the palate, because of the oak, because of that herbaceousness, it definitely comes across as more like a dried apricot on the palate. Why don't you go and see, take a look at this legging. It just kind of stays there. Those striations you see, very thick. I kind of wish that the, you know, the intense fruitiness was a little bit longer than right up front. It's very brief in the front before the um, drier notes kind of kick in. And interestingly, the top note, you know, after the finish, doesn't quite resemble the actual bouquet of it. Interesting. All in all, deeply complex, balanced, a lot to explore and suss out there. Not quite to my tastes, at least now, as um, the Cuvassier is. Cuvassier is a little bit sweeter. But all in all, I'm still deeply enjoying this. And yeah, I definitely recommend it. Um, and I will be doing, you know, another vertical with this one. So, look forward to that. So, my plans are to do another vertical of this. I have some other things to review on the queue. And, of course, dry January. Um, because generally I don't drink in January. I just for reasons. I think it, you know, especially since the holiday season is 
quite in excess, it's always good to go and pause for a month. So folks, Remy Martin, VSOP, absolutely lovely nose, complex palette, and definitely worth a try. And that is your Cognac review for this afternoon, folks. Cheers.